Hi everyone, my name is Shai Donovich and I'm a solution architect here at Juniper uh, on the MIST AI driven enterprise team. And I'll be walking you through a series of videos in a form of detailed configuration guides for our uh, MIST AI driven SD1 solution supporting uh, the SRX platforms. Okay, so I have divided uh, these guides into uh, two main parts. Part one is going to be uh, an overview. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the network topology and the address uh, scheme that I have in my lab uh, and throughout this uh, configuration and demo uh, that uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, correlate uh, uh, my topology with uh, the configuration um, that I'll be using the MIST UI. Section two uh, is a walkthrough of uh, the different uh, NAT use cases, source NAT, destination NAT, static NAT. Uh, we can configure static NAT, uh, uh, or actually all NATs from overlay or underlay. Uh, so we'll, we'll look into this. And then uh, I'll walk you through uh, the lab topology itself, uh, the setup that I have, um, how do I, uh, what, you know, what are the spokes, LAN, hosts, hubs, uh, and run traffic uh, between them. In part two, we'll dive into uh, detailed configurations uh, of different sections. In section one, uh, we'll show you how to uh, define and uh, create sites on MIST and then um, um, create the one edge configuration templates that will be used to onboard um, the devices, uh, either spokes or hubs. Uh, in section two, uh, we look into uh, how to define networks that are attached to, uh, to the spokes or to the hub from the LAN side, as well as applications, which is usually referred to as destinations in the uh, uh, steering profiles or um, the um, security policies that we will be creating. In section three, we look into how we actually onboard devices. Uh, we have two ways to onboard devices under uh, MIST solution, either through adopt device to a site, or we have another option, which is a full ZTP uh, of uh, the SRX devices. Section five, uh, we look into uh, hub and spoke uh, VPN uh, traffic flow, uh, and uh, specifically how to configure steering profiles and the different policies. Uh, using uh, the different steering profiles. Steering profiles are used to uh, define uh, how many paths and how many overlays, IPsec tunnels, uh, each specific destination will be using. Section six uh, is where we'll start uh, looking into how do I configure a source NAT uh, to overlay. This is uh, for specific use cases where you have overlapping IPs uh, in each and every site that are all gonna be uh, talking to uh, some resources and workloads in your data center behind the hub. Section seven is uh, destination NAT. Uh, this is the other way around where the hub or some management stations would like to uh, uh, access uh, different LAN segments that has overlapping IPs uh, in each uh, of your sites. Section eight is the uh, combination between source and destination, which is referred by SRX to Junos uh, as static NAT. Uh, and this is again uh, from or to overlay, meaning between spokes and hubs. Section nine is where um, you're gonna configure source NAT uh, as an option, as a source NAT pool, where you do local breakout from your spoke to the internet through the underlay network. And section 10 is the other way around. Uh, where you want to allow some traffic from the internet or from your underlay network uh, going into a specific uh, LAN segment or a specific host in your data center. For example, if you have a web server that is running in your uh, behind your hub, you want to allow uh, specific traffic from the internet or specific IPs hitting this uh, uh, web server on a private IP, then you would use uh, destination NAT uh, as well. Okay, so I'll see you in the next segment.